Let's see. Linear bearings, linear rods. Add a bit of 3D printing plastic in and we should have a pretty good camera slider. Stupid autofocus. Hey guys, what is up today? We're going to try, oh I need my stuff. Today we're going to try to turn some linear rods, linear bearings, and of course some 3D printer filament into a fully functional camera slider. Um, I don't think it will be motorized simply because I don't feel like going through all the setup of getting a NEMA driver set up with an Arduino and all that junk. But what I'm going to do is just make it manual, but it still should be pretty useful for my filmmaking. So first things first, we have to measure our stuff and then we have to hop in the computer and come up with a sick design. Then 3D print it, and then find out it still doesn't fit, and 3D print it again and again and again until we finally fits. Oh, it works, except we've watched up and then we have to fix it again, and then finally it works perfectly and then we end the video. Just like every other Jay's Way video. Let's do it. All right, so I have the parts printed. I designed two different parts for this project. One is an end cap for, and I printed two of these to hold on both sides of the linear rods, and then the actual carriage, which will attach to the bearings, which will actually hold the camera. So these turned out pretty well. They actually fitted very well my first try, which is like a record on this channel. Well, almost. They took a little modification. only a little bit. You can download these models in the description of this video down there. There is a Thingiverse link where you can go download them. The reason why I didn't fit was not the files fault. The files are, are perfect. It's just when I printed them, they got a little warped and that's what would offset the, the holes that the linear rods go into. I really need to replace my build tech sheet. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can assemble the same and get it working. This is the first part that I designed. I printed it in black polylite PLA. It turned out pretty well. A little more brittle than I prefer. Uh, polylite filament is known for that, but that's okay. It should still work um, just fine. The uh, linear rods snap into it just like that, and uh, it also kind of looks like those things in Tron Legacy that fly around and pick up programs, yeah. And this is the carriage that I attached. These two holes right here are for the linear bearings to go in. And speaking of linear bearings, I'm going to be using these. These are just your basic run-in-the-mill 15 by 45 linear bearings, 15 diameter, 45 lawn. And uh, yeah, they work pretty well. Inner diameter, 8 millimeter, just like these rods. Not a whole lot of assembly for this thing. Just got to snap in both of these rods into this and then slide on the carriage. First of all, let me go ahead and attach the bearings to see if they'll snap in there. Super oh, that is just perfect. It doesn't get much better than that, my friends. Oh, that I love it. I love it when just things just snap together so well. It's amazing. I've got sawdust on this. Why do I have sawdust on this? Oh, perfect. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is this is gonna be good. Okay. Boom, bada, bing. That, my friend, is a camera slider. So this is what the finished product looks like. I'm really liking the look of this black PLA. I really like that matte finish that Polylite does so, so well. Um, sliding wise, it's loud, but I will say in most of, I, I usually do two system audio anyway, so my camera is not doing the audio. I have a separate microphone, so it shouldn't pick this up at all. And uh, it's very smooth, that's for one thing. There's no binding up anywhere along these. Um, these these bearings are from my NA 3D printer. Um, that's the old pieces over there that's still building the, the laser printer. I've got a lot, of, a lot of projects going on. So now all we have to do is test this out and see if we get some smooth buttery footage from it. I have designed this to work with the exact same mount as my DIY camera rig, which you can see right there, there. There, you can go look at that, and it is pretty good. It's this, just this mount right here. I'll focus. It's not gonna focus, ain't it? So this mount right here, the camera just slides into it, and then this little piece slides onto it. I use this exact same design on the camera slider, so hopefully it will all fit pretty well. Okay, uh, let me just, let's bring the camera over and see if this thing works. Turns out this camera slider works 
pretty well. With a little practice, I got some really cool shots off of it. There are definitely better ways to make a camera slider out there, but this is the parts that I had laying around. I think it turned out pretty well. All the files for this will be on Thingiverse link in the description, like I said before. The end caps shouldn't require any modification to work with 8mm rods. Just make sure you don't have any warping when you print them. Except the carriage you probably will have to redesign for your particular camera mount. Um, I will leave the dimensions of my camera mount in the Thingiverse page, so if you happen to have the same one, you can use that. But most likely you're going to have to change it. But it shouldn't be that hard. All you have to do is split it into two separate files, scale the mount up or down until it fits your needs, and then recombine them. Uh, simple mesh mixer stuff uh, should be pretty simple for those who know what I'm talking about. If you don't, well, you're screwed. That is it for today's Jay's Way video. I have a lot of more projects coming up. And don't forget to put any ideas you have of upcoming projects in the comments of this video. I'm always looking for new ideas. I'm Sai. Thanks for watching. I need to work on looking at the lens and not myself because that yeah, just looks weird. That's what happens when you get a camera with a flip back screen.